Hi and welcome to Micro Moment Monday. I thought today that I would just open up my um, implement drawer and pull out the gadgets that I use most of the time and share with you the things that I think are, I know that I would have a difficult time doing without. So here's my drawer pretty much right here. I'm just going to go through these things one at a time. So I I love having a collection of spatulas, rubber spatulas, uh, great big hunkers, ones that are kind of scoop shaped with shorter handles and uh, uh, various kinds. I probably have about a dozen of these and I use every single one of them. Now in terms of vegetable peelers, I, I didn't realize until fairly recently that having a variety of styles of peelers is really a good idea. I grew up with this style of peeler and this is the one that I used for years and years and years. There's a little bit of new technology, more ergonomic, and then these little T-shaped ones are fabulous for peeling things like squash and pumpkins and cucumbers. So having a variety of uh, uh, vegetable peelers is also really good. I have just recently discovered these basters. These are silicone basters. I use these a lot, uh, particularly for reseasoning my cast iron. I just dip this in bacon grease or whatever I'm using and wipe it around the warm pan that I have just cleaned, and they are wonderful. They are they don't melt, they don't disfigure, and they are good up to about 550 degrees. So these are fantastic. I don't think anyone who's handy in the kitchen can have enough measuring spoon sets. I struggled with one set for the longest time and then got a second one and finally Jim just went out and bought me three of these and I'm so glad that he does. I really like the, this particular style. These just slip right off this end piece so I can use them individually and then just reattach them. So having enough measuring spoon sets is really a good idea. This has changed my life. This is a lemon squeezer. For years I squeezed lemons by hand and you know as we age I have noticed and maybe some of you have noticed as well that I don't have the, as my little daughter Katie would say, gription. I don't have the gription that I once had. She invented that word when she was about 13. We still laugh about that. And um, so this is a, gr a really great little tool, a little gadget. These are my favorite gadgets uh, to have. And um, you, if you watched any of our lemon videos, you saw me use this. I cannot say enough about having a selection of spoons or spoon-like implements. Uh, uh, this I couldn't get along without. I used to have two, I don't know what's happened to the second one, but I've got to find another one too because I use these all the time. This is the greatest invention for canning. It is a large canning scoop and it will scoop up about a cup or more than a cup with one, um, one scoop and then it has this little handy thing that sits on the back of the, on the edge of the pot so it doesn't have to go back down in the pot. I love this. It's one of my fa very favorite. And then a variety of slotted spoons. This one really holds a lot. Um, both of these I use really often in canning and in other things too. So having a good selection of spoons and slotted spoons and scoops is really great. This little tool is fairly new in my um, repertoire. I probably got my first one about two years ago and it was dirty all the time so that meant I was using it all the time so I recently got two more in different sizes and I know that these are fish spatulas that's what they're advertised as but I use them for everything and these are extraordinarily handy. A pair of kitchen shears is also uh, just a necessity in my kitchen. I have three pair of kitchen shears and I use these all the time as well. So that's certainly something to have on your list. These I have had for a couple of years. 
These are silicone measuring cups. And the reason that I really like these so much is that, um, especially in canning, and actually for a lot of other things too, I can measure the um, ingredient, the liquid out carefully, and then I can bend it so that it has a better pouring spout. And these are so handy, 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 handy. And I have, this is a one quart size, this is two cups, and this is one cup. And I use these all the time. Having a set of kitchen funnels, these are so handy. We have large sizes of things, um, liquids, out in our um, food storage area, in our emergency supplies, things like soap or oil or vinegar that I really like to have in smaller sizes for my kitchen. And so having funnels of various sizes to transfer things from the gargantuan size into a kitchen usable size is great. And this little funnel is perfect for refilling our, my um, individual salt and pepper shakers too. This is a fairly new set for me and I have uh, really enjoyed having it. It is a set of little tiny cookie cutters, but I use these for everything. You can uh, cut vegetables with them or pie crust, and they come in a variety of sizes, and they're just so fun to have, too, uh, and uh, grandchildren especially like to work with these. One of the handiest tools that I have in my kitchen is Jim's uh, barbecue thermometer. It is electronic, runs off of batteries. This is what I check my bread with all the time. I just poke this right in my bread, and once it registers above 190, I know that it's done. But I'm constantly checking the temperature of food that I'm working with, and I really, really like this. Um, so I might even get one for me and give him his back. <laughs> This is a graduated set of biscuit cutters. These are also really fun to have. And when you are making biscuits a lot of times, you might have a little corner of dough left that is not large enough for something like this. But then you can just use this and make a smaller biscuit. This is fun for kids as well to make different sizes of biscuits. And then my bench scrapers, not one but two, two bench scrapers, and I use these all the time. I use them for making bread. They are great to clean off the countertop. They are great to cut the dough in half for making two loaves. They are great for making pie crust, and uh, I made biscuits with these the other day when I put the ingredients right out on the countertop and work the uh, fat in with the flour. These are just great. So this is just a selection of things that I really like. I do not have links for all of these. I will put a few links out. Some of these things I don't even remember. I've had them so long I don't remember where I got them. I just want to remind you that Jim and I do not take a kickback on anything. We have an ethical issue with doing that. We don't want to feel obligated at all to advertise any product. We will tell you honestly whether we like it or we dislike it, and no money comes into our pocket from any source with any kind of um, uh, product that we use. But I will put the links that I do have, and the others you'll just have to be on your own. And a lot of these links will be for Amazon, and um, I may just link you to a page where they have a whole collection of things rather than an individual thing because we are not Amazon affiliates. So I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to do it again with um, not just these kitchen tools, these kitchen gadgets, but with um, the pots and pans that I have and also um, like my apple pear or peeler and other things that I use a lot just to share with you some of the things that we have and enjoy in our kitchen. But today, it was my favorite gadgets. So hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for joining us, and we will see you at our next Micro Moment Monday.